YouTube, what it do? It's your boy KZ back in the stool, man. Y'all see we got that boy Timeless Tim. Y'all see school bet to grab a girl's butt. Let's get straight to it. It's going to be a spicy one. Now, like I always say, never give your opponent the first ring. You, my guy, must have the element of surprise. Yo, it's Principal Johnson. Where? God. What? The one piece combo? No, no fries, no chicken, no sides. Just the one piece? Okay, then. That's how we gonna start start the bed off. Now, before we get started, oh, you want to be a YouTuber just like your boy? Yeah. Well, check out the new version of Filmora. See Phil no. the YouTube channel. Phil no. Again, Absolutely not. Filmora, don't do more. it and unless you're willing to pay to get that watermark taken away. No cap. Love in different you description. I'm not paying to get that watermark. Three lucky winners will be. Let's get straight ah, to it. Ah, middle school. Mm, mm, mm. See, going to middle school is the huge step for every kid. See, these are your introduction yeah, yeah. years to teenage life. Better yet, the introduction to your first Our middle crush. school is fire. Now, in America, middle Better school starts in the sixth grade and ends in the but eighth. Don't Meaning, most college, kids but... come in somewhere around the age of 10 and leave at about 14. Now, when you're 10, you're innocent. Mommy and daddy have kept you protected your whole life. Odds are you still believe in the birds and the bees talk. But once you hit 14, you are demon. See, these are the years where boys start liking girls. 14, 15. That's right. The time when you no longer listen to your parents. Just think back. At what age did your parents finally allow you to start dating? Even better, how old were you when you got your first kiss? I'm guessing somewhere 13. around middle school years. Still remember years. Well, to this day. As for the most of us, come on, my guy. We're living in a digital what, stop. era of Drooling, TikTok, my guy. where everything Dog. is all about the booty. Now, when it comes to your boy, my middle school years were quite unique. First thing first, your boy went to an upper class middle school. See, this was due to the public school system integrating urban kids with the suburbs. Now, I swear you're saying, taking broke ass black kids to a prosperous white institution. Now, other than standing out as one of the few black kids on campus, everything was cool. I was, was a popular kid, school. had plenty of friends, even back the couple yeah, was wild was at it. But see, it wasn't people, all though. nice and gravy, and we that's still. where this story begins. So, for this story, I'm I'm gonna take you back, back to my middle school years. So it was seventh grade lunch period. Now during lunch, I hung around my group of friends, aka the Click. Now the Click consisted of my homeboy Billy, my guy Sam, and my boy Chris. The next look. I did have white friends, but they didn't live in the same neighborhood as me. Now, just like most teenagers, during lunchtime, we would come up with stupid bets. Bets like which one of us could run the fastest, nah. who could bag the cutest girl, who would be the first That's... to know. Well, you know what I'm saying. Now, Swipe on this particular day, I was sitting next what to my is girl, he Jenny. doing now, to the Jenny pizza? Was bad. I'm talking me or more <laughs> Bro. bad. See, Jenny was a Puerto Rican. Picture your girl, Chalo. Yeah, yeah, she so... was mm, That's Jenny. Jordan Jordan was so bad your boy ended up right, taking Spanish so. class just to sit next to Jen. Hey, Jenny, mi amor, cuando te dije por primera vez, no tienes pecho, niña. Eras no, plana, pero ahora cariño. Eres gruesa, puedo ser tu primera. Now, baby, now, my eight. Spanish wasn't that great, but you get the point. Now, every guy in school had a crush on Jenny. See, baby girl had that Ricky booty. Now, this was that, special that, because that, it was the first time that, teenagers that, saw man. the Ooh, Tell me about see, it. See, somewhere around 7th or 8th I read the, I read the moms. Start the moms are way better. Guys start having those red dreams and girls start looking good. Yeah. Now, in my school, we had rules when it came to dating. Rule number one, no kissing. Under no circumstances, you won't have yeah. the urge to lie down lips upon another on school campus. Rule number two, no physical contact, period. Only thing allowed was holding hands after class. Yeah, that was now, come on, my guy. You know that's Same. not going to fly. Boys are going to be boys. Now, I'm not advocating bad behavior because it's not right, kids. So I'm chilling. Then my homie Bill was like, yo, Tim. Bet you won't touch Jenny's booty. Gee, <laughs> what you want to bet? Bet you a dollar you won't. A One dollar? dollar. Come on, kid. Come on, now, a dollar to a broke teenage kid was to die for. All right, Tim. It's time to get this dollar, kid. And Jenny sure is looking bad. Now, the strategy was simple. Jail, huh? Wait until everyone was leaving for lunch, walk behind Jenny, or and act like I huh? accidentally bump into her and squeeze those buns. You feel me? So lunch ends, and we start walking towards the exit. Yo, hurry up, kid. You gotta do it before lunch is over, or the bed is off. Damn, I got you. Okay, here we go. 
So I walked close up to Jenny, got my hands nice and ready, bumped into her, and went for the booty. Damn, kid, you really touched her booty. Now, my plan was solid, but this fool Bill said it out loud, thereby causing Jenny to know this wasn't an accident. Tim, did you just grab wow, my butt on purpose? Wow, come on, oh, bro. No, Jenny. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, kid. Stop lying. Damn, tell you about to get it now. Shut up. He's the instigator, bro. I can't wait to get my boyfriend to kick your oh, ass. Oh, he had a boyfriend, See, too? His boyfriend was in the eighth grade. And you different from grabbing her butt knowing she had a, a buff boyfriend, boy. You different. And on the wrestling team, which man? A wrestling team? Yeah, like you different. Flag. So onward, and I'm in eighth grade. You did not care. Damn, I got to figure a way to win this fight. Should have run away like a bitch. Oh, then all the kids will make fun of me. Oh, this for a dollar. What do I do? Oh, snap. Eighth period usually takes I mean, she can't, if he can't with me, she don't got a boyfriend. Understandable. Now I was bugging. In just a few minutes, I would have to fight a bigger, older, and better fighter than me. And there's nothing worse than losing a fight in front of the whole school. So cut right. ends, and I'm tripping. Yo, Tim, you all right, kid? Um, yeah, yeah. I ain't scared of nobody. Relax, bro. I don't think Jenny was serious. Come on, let's roll. Now, I don't know how this happens, but for some reason, when there's a fight about to happen in school, word spreads to everybody. Go fight! So I get out the class, get to the parking lot, and all the kids are outside waiting for that action. There he is, Q. Oh, that's him? Yeah. So you're the guy that grabbed my girl's butt. Um, it was an accident. Well, how about I accidentally shove my fist up your face? All right, Tim, this is it. Let's do it. Man up. Now, like I always say, never give your opponent the first swing. You, my guy, must have the element of surprise. Yo, it's Principal Johnson. Where? Yeah. He turned him black. Or was Yo, he already it's black? Principal Johnson. Where? <laughs> that's crazy. Is that really how it happened, or that's how you he thought that? it was? Like? That's called the element of surprise. Using one's fear against it. Yeah, punk. How you like my fist up your face, Oh, snap, Mr. Johnson's coming. Now look what we got here. What's going on, boys? Mr. Johnson, Tim just punched me. What? Did this fool just snitch on me? Wow. Tim, did you just hit this young man? Uh, yeah, but I was protecting myself just as. And of course, all the kids had dipped and no one could back up my statement. You two come to my office. Damn. Okay, boys, you both know we have a no tolerance for fighting policy. But he punched me first. No, no, no. That's not how this works. You're supposed to report it to the school principal, Quentin. Now, this is what we'll do. Since this is your first time getting in trouble, both of you have ISS and OSS for the whole week. And if Jeez. I hear anything else concerning this issue, you will be suspended. Right. For every choice you make, there's consequences you must take. So, my guy, Thanks. choose wisely. Yeah. Real deal. Real steal. Oh, so yeah, man. What he said, choose wisely, man. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment up below what else y'all want to see. If you're new to the channel and you a real one, subscribe to the channel, bro. And I'm out. Peace.